Welcome back. I am Chase, hashtag half the man I used to be. <laughs> Here with my colleague Christian, we are your RM Fantasy S experts. We're going into round nine. Toronto. Toronto, north of the border. Now we got a lot to talk about today. Got to talk about some bets that were made over the course of the week. <laughs> and we're going to talk about a race recap and also some fantasy stats. All right, so before we kick this week off, you're probably wondering why do I have half a beard? Well, if you guys watched last week's episode, Christian, you and I had a little bet going. Whoever had the most points out of their picks, I would had to shave half my beard if you won. If I won, you had to paint your, your fingernails hot pink. Yep. Clearly, <laughs> I did not do very well in this bet. Oh, it's I hard to I actually only scored it. 15 points. <laughs> it's hard to But I'm a man it. of my word, and I am here. Respect. Respect on that name. Thank you very much. But talking about the real stuff, last week in Atlanta. Got we shook up. We predicted shook it. Shook up a little bit. We talked about Atlanta last week, how riders will typically do better mm -hmm. than their averages throughout the year at Atlanta. And what happens? Blake Baggett. Comes Storms out. out of nowhere. First podium ever for the Butler Brothers, KTM, Rocky Mountain team. It's, it was awesome. It so was good. One still pumped race, about it. Dude, he was rolling. Now, the question I have, is that momentum going to carry over to this week? That's what we need to talk about. We need to talk about it. And then Dunge, Second proven win. he's a champ. Second win. We called it by not calling it. We said he was best at short starts, right? Yeah. But we still went with the Tomac train, which I'm still on, but... Dungey proved he's... He proved that having the best starting average means something. It pays because off. Because he's up there every race, no matter what. And so. everyone else, so we had Anderson again in fourth for the, what, fourth, fifth time? Fifth time, fifth yeah. Fifth time Anderson's gotten fourth. Interesting stats on him we'll get into. So. Moose can round out the top five. Then we had Dean Wilson as the wild card. So... Solid race. Solid race. Baggett definitely shook things up. So now, what do we got as far as some stats? Um, we ran the stats from last week, and the average score was 33 points. No perfect scores. Baggett. Um, yeah, Baggett, I'm sure, shook it up a lot, okay. which was awesome. 11% got the wild card, which was higher than normal. And 23% uh, had two picks or more correct. And that was the first race ever that Tomac has been picked more to win than Dungey. So, All right. Interesting that was interesting. stats out of there. Only 4% of you guys out there picked Baggett to be in your top five. Man. So whoever did. You made points. You made points. That's a big gamble, and it paid off for mm -hmm. you. And then injuries from last week. Uh, we still got Pike, who is out. Still no James Bubba Stewart. Millsaps crashed. Millsaps crashed, Didn't but should be man. back this weekend. Yeah. But, guys, make sure <laughs> you got to check practice and timing. <laughs> this is a perfect example of why you want to do that. I was out riding my dirt bike this weekend. I was driving home during practices. I did not check. And lo and behold, I went, to the, I went and started watching the main event. Millsaps wasn't on the line, and I couldn't do anything about it. I immediately lost any chance of picking up those points. It could end badly, and there's the proof. So Yes, the proof is right here. <laughs> All right, so next up, we got to talk about some track trends. All right, so the season is taking a turn north. Hey. <laughs> heading up to kill good old Canada. That's what I'm Good talking race. About. I mean, those fans are nuts. Can't wait to see it up there. All uh, right. We checked out the track. It's got a long start into left, right. Craziest start of the year I'm saying so far. Yeah, it could. Sharp left into a sharp right. Look at the track map. Just if, feeding them a left right. Feeding a left right. Right off the start. If you, <laughs> so let's if see you what, get, how that turns out. If you don't get out. a good start this race, you're toast. Could be in trouble. That's my prediction. You are toast if you don't get a good start. Yep. Two whoop sections, you noticed. They don't break yep. down. They don't. I watched the race from last year. I looked at the dirt. The whoops did not break down. They had to blitz them the entire night. Yep. Might not be... Well, Muskin did well last he year. He took second there yeah. last year. So. so just keep that in mind. I'm not going to um, break down as much. Only three brands have ever won in Toronto. Okay. Kawasaki, Suzuki, Yamaha, and Toronto has never had a first-time winner in the season. So, Ooh. Okay. Interesting facts going into it. So. so there you go. A couple interesting facts about the track this weekend. Nope. Crazy start, two big whoop sections, a lot of jumps. Nope. I think it's going to be a really good race. I can't wait. So next up, we're going to get into our points battle. Okay, so going into Toronto, Dungey Tomac is going to be at the top of everyone's list. Right. Every, more people picked Tomac this last week. Tomac came from almost 10th-ish, and I swear to you, if he had one more lap, he, I think he was passing Dungey. He was reeling him in consistently. So. But also Tomac, I think, saw, or Dungey saw Tomac. I think he knew what the gap was, and I think Dungey is just, that's what makes he him so great. He kept it safe. That's what he he's kept, always done. He, he knew he was shrinking the gap, but mm -hmm. he still, he just played it safe. The question is, where do you stick him this week? Dungy, I'm still keeping him in about third. I mean, he's got the best average start. He's been on the podium seven of eight races. There's no way he should be out of your picks, no doubt. But third? But 
I'm still putting him third. I mean, I go off pure speed of yeah, you know, desperate type riders, and Tomek and Muskin were on the gas chasing him down. So. Well, Dungey's the only Dungey's the most consistent starter. So By I'm far. I have Tomac in first, but only it's kind of a gamble because I only see that happening if he gets the start that he needs to get. But Dungey's just so consistent, it's like you almost assume that Tomac's going to have to catch him from behind. Oh yeah. So. Uh, big gamble there. What do you guys think? Is Dungey going to continue rocking it, getting on top of the box? or His lead's even bigger now. I see it more of a reason for him to be safe and keep oh, it safe. That's so. a good point. Is he, is he going to play it even more safe? I don't know. Next up, we got Baggett and Webb. I mean, Baggett, just the fastest qual or one of the fastest qualifiers in a lot of rounds yeah, this all year. year. Had speed all year. Finally put it together. We've been waiting for it all year. Gets the first podium of the team. Yeah. Wait, and he started in second and finished in third. Right? Oh, yeah. So yeah held his own up there. Dude, held it. So. And he was pacing Dungey. Like, he didn't. It wasn't like Tomac and Dungey yeah. got he past him and he just fell back. No, he mm -hmm. stayed up there with him for a very long time. Yep. So, what do you think? Is he a safe bet for top five again? Uh, I would think it's got to be more people than 4% are going to pick him this week. For I would sure. assume so. So, I, I want to see what he does and... Hopefully he's back up there again. I mean, yeah. I think it'd be awesome. So, all right, what do you guys think? And now Webb is coming back this weekend, or that's the rumor. Mm -hmm. If he's back on the line, Webb had some serious momentum. He had a, a third and a fourth. Can he put it on the, in the top five? I hope so. It, it just all depends on how he comes back. I think he's one you got to watch for uh, qualifying timing. Yeah. See where his speed is. See how <laughs> watch he feels. Watch for him in qualifying. Yeah, exactly. We, See where his times can are. Can really at. wreck a season or a day or a beard if you don't watch that. <laughs> so I, he's one I'm going to watch for qualifying. But he comes back healthy, strong. I could definitely see him back up there. Again, yeah. So. so pay attention to qualifying. If Webb is up there, he could be a spoiler yeah. this week. And then safe point Sealy. Can't hashtag it anymore. No, no. Free point Sealy was out the window last week. He Did barely point missed point it. You know, it was free points. Point free points either way. Close. But this round, it technically still could be free point Sealy where the wild card's sixth. He hasn't finished worse than sixth all year. So you put him in the wild card. You put him in wild card, you've got a very good chance. Now, no matter what, Sealy's going to score some points. Yeah, something, hopefully. So. It is kind of interesting, though, that last year, he his well, his average start this year in the East Coast rounds has doubled. Mm -hmm. Went from a little over four to eight. Yeah. And last year, same thing we saw. So Sealy, when he went to East Coast going. rounds, something on the East yeah. Coast something is nipping there. at his heels. So something definitely to watch for. But, yeah, sixth place would be a really good pick for him. All right, so now... This is why we talk about weekly spoilers, ladies and gentlemen. We saw what Blake Baggett did. We've talked about him before as a spoiler throughout the season. Mm -hmm. And out of nowhere, he gets third. Yeah. So it pays to take a risk every now and then. I mean, there's a lot of riders that could just put it together one week, more. You, you just never know. You, you gotta, never that's know. That's why you, I like to base it off stats. And then if you get that wild feeling you want to take a leap on your picks, I mean, it could pay off. Uh -huh. would have with Baggett. So. so coming up next... We're going to talk about spoilers. All right, so going into this week, I've got two spoilers that I think people should keep an eye on. Blake Baggett, on the box, third place. The dude's got some momentum going for him. Going on a roll. I think he could do it again. But it's not a safe bet, but I think he could do it again. Webb, watch qualifying yeah. practices. See if he's on a roll. If he's up at the top, it means he's feeling good. I know he's got the injury with the mm -hmm. shoulder and all, but... You're going to see how bad it is. How bad it is. But if he's qualifying well, it means he feels good. I would not be surprised to see Webb finish in the top five. What do you got? I got a different Yamaha rider. No. Different end of the spectrum as well. You got the rookie. I got the veteran. I'm taking Chad Reed. I'm really hoping he can get up there. I mean, he's won there in 2008. Dude. That was almost 10 years ago. That was a decade ago. <laughs> it was a long ago. time ago, but he's father time. He doesn't care. <laughs> he's father time? He's, he's there. He's to push those kids around. He's not afraid of nobody. He uh, took fourth in Toronto last year. His last two starts have been fifth and seventh. I mean, he's he's up there. He might be putting it together, hopefully. He might so. be putting on the ground because he's done that two weeks in a row. What? Somehow, I magically put him in the top five the week he did it. No, I know. But I, I've just lost faith. I know. What, who's your other one? The other one is... a. A bit more of a stretch, but I, I really like him. I'm taking Justin Brayton. If you need to make up points, watch this man. He took eighth last week. He's finished sixth already this year. He started and finished in sixth in Toronto last year. So he's he might have something going on with that track, that stadium, and only 0.03% of people last week put him in the top five. So 
He could be another huge opportunity to make up points if he can put it together. I mean, crazy things happen. He's the veteran. He knows how to keep it clean. And hopefully, he comes back strong. So. All right. Okay. The read one, I don't know. Brayton, he might still be loopy from that concussion. You never know. <laughs> we'll see. Well, next up, we got to talk about probably the most important pick of the week, the wild card. All right. This week, going in the wild card, sixth place, really close to the top Tough five. Tough one. So, a lot of intermingling going on there. Um, the riders I have to watch out for, Chad Reed. I know he's in my spoilers, but... I like him, you know, just up there somewhere. Okay. And Trey Kennard, probably not going to be thought about as much, but he took seventh in Toronto last season. He's finishing better on the east so far than he did on the west, even though he only raced a few races. And he took fifth through seventh five times out of eight races on the east last year. You can so. hardly wait to see your boy to get a good result. I can huh? hardly wait for him to just get up there somewhere. All so. right. I've got, well, so what I did is because this week the spoilers in the wild card are pretty much the same thing, like so close. I'm just going to take my week of spoilers and move them down to my wild card watch. So I've got Cooper Webb. Makes sense. If he's, you know, even if he's not 100% and he's still maybe just not feeling it totally, I still think he could creep in that sixth place spot. So a lot of guys, he should be able to pass. Absolutely. There, and so. also, and then Blake Baggett. His momentum, I think he's going to be up there running with the big dogs. I don't see any reason why that won't put him in that sixth place position or even better. I agree. So I think Baggett would be a safe bet. So. Yeah. Those are my picks. I like them. You know what time it is? Time to lock them in. Okay. My top five for the week. Are we going to do better this week? Hopefully. For the sake of this, <laughs> I absolutely hope so because, uh, dude, I miss it already. <laughs> I know, like, that's rough. Just, hey, just props. I can't. Stick into your word. I can't let this side just grow out. Like, it's going to have to come off. So. Let us know what you guys think about that. I mean, what kind of bets you got going on. Style-wise, you guys like it? I mean, you never know. <laughs> Well, if you guys made any bets, if you lost, let us know what they are. Just don't make any dangerous no, bets. Keep it but safe. We would love to hear what your friendly, bets are. Yeah, so comment below. Let us know what you're doing. I've got the Tomac train. Still on it. Still on it. Not slowing down. Although, my, <laughs> this is a heart pick because my gut is telling me Dunge. Okay. Because of the starts. Yeah. There's something to be said. Something to be said there, but if Tomac can get a good start, I think he has a speed. I've got, so Tomac, Dungey, Mooskin, Anderson, you're putting Three Anderson back in. In four. Yeah. yeah we got to do that. Every That's time I move. say they're going to be out of the top five, <laughs> look what happened. Oh. So I've got Anderson in fourth. You've got a good stat for that. Mm -hmm. And I've got three point Sealy in fifth. I think he rebounds, has a better week. And my wild card is Blake Baggett. I like it. Okay. Okay. Um, getting into my picks, I'm with you on Tomac. I think he's just clearly the if, fastest. The fastest. I mean, he's passing people like crazy. He okay. just needs to get the start together. Um, second place, I'm putting Muskin again. He took second in Toronto last year, so those whoops don't scare me as much. And he was flying last week, too. Dungy, I put third to just for the average start alone. I mean, he's always up he's there. He's always there. If there's carnage, he's ahead of it already. So If a bomb went off, he'd walk out unscathed. Exactly. I mean, we're everybody's worrying about him. He's increasing his lead almost every week. So True. All right. There's no hate with him at all. By putting him in third, it's just he's worried about a championship. He's not worried about a win. So. All right. Um, fourth place, I'm putting Anderson back in there. I think it's crazy if you don't. We pulled the stats that if you would have put Anderson in fourth place at round one and left him, you'd have 100 points just for that spot from him. I'd be kicking your trash. That's a third of my points I have now in one spot. Wow. So, and All he's right. the most for, picked rider for fourth place. Okay. And the only thing that scares me is his worst race in, was in Toronto last year where he finished ninth, but I, I, don't, I don't think he's going to do that bad this year. So, And then fifth place, I'm putting Sealy back in there with you. Okay. I think he puts it back together. And sixth, the wild card, let's go Chad Reed. Chad Reed. See the 2-2 two -two up there. Ooh. It's been too long. It's been too long for him. I can so. wait a little longer. No, let's get him up there. All right, so those are our picks. Remember, you guys can see our picks and play with us. Go to rmfantasysx.com. Join our group, Team RMATVMC. You can see our points. You can play against us. Comment. We want to know what you guys are thinking for this week, what your picks are going to be. Mm -hmm. Can Tomac do it again? We're going to get a first-time winner. First-time winner happen? we've never had in Toronto. Can the Webb crack top five? Crazy start could mean a lot of things this week. So. Is Baggett going to keep rolling? Mm -hmm. Got a lot to see. I'm excited for this weekend. Now, with all that in mind, we got to talk about some cool prizes with a prize recap. 
All right, so as always, we've got some awesome top 10 weekly prizes. Bell kicking it off for us with a Moto 9 Carbon Flex helmet along mm -hmm. with MX versus ATV Encore game. Pirelli throwing in two sets of MX32 tires for a second place winner. Third place, Stellar MX RM ATV MC graphic kit. What else we got, Matt? We got TCX boots, a Cherubis plastic, Pro Honda prize pack, ODI, Scott, EBS helmet, and Motogate prize pack. So, so lots lot of good, good stuff. Yep, so make sure, guys, get your picks in. Comment below. We want to know what you guys think is going to happen this week. Are things going to continue how they are? Are we going to see a big shakeup? Let us know how you did. We just like to see those people that put those crazy picks out there. Let us know how you did. Yeah, so. and don't remember, if you have any hashtag lost bets, make sure you comment <laughs> below. I am Chase. I'm Christian. We'll see you next time.